to hit, go help Hill. White flag. One lap remaining. Next flag ends the race. Is Allgaier too far out there? He's Look at really this. far out there. It's a big gap. 21 has no help right now. Who's going to get that first run? Here comes the one. Sam hold Mayer's up, never won in the Xfinity Series. There. there goes oh, the one boy. to the outside of his teammate. Through the middle of the 21. Oh, my goodness. They're Mayer making... has turned. Oh, He's upside down. The caution is out. And now the question becomes, who was, the who was leading at the time of caution? Oh, my goodness. Second straight year. Sam Mayer back on his wheels. That's good. We've had a spectacular yeah. crash on the back straightaway on the final lap. Thousands of a second. Elliot Sadler, big run right there. You saw what he did. Oh, oh round goes to 60. Austin Cedric wrecking in front of the crowd. Daniel Hemrick's caught up. Tyler Reddick, Cedric, barrel rolls. See when you're done, top one. Lands back on his wheels. Okay, Matt Tim trying to make a lot happen. Joey Gase in the 35, sitting right up against the 60 now. Way to the lead. I didn't see that one coming. I didn't know that high side could make that move. Yeah, and I think that's just the aggressive nature of how hard you want to push. And, and the more cars you can get bumper to bumper like that, the, the faster that line's going to go. So prior to today, the only place oh, where... Oh, oh, big trouble. That's the rookie Suarez up and over. Regan Smith, the big one at Daytona in the trioval. Forty-two turn just right there. I right, just stop, Daniel. Uh. Scott Legacy, window net is down. Good for him. Suarez able to drive his Toyota to the garage. Second car in just a few hours for that young man. Up and over for Regan Smith. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah, they really do anything about it. Chad Boat. Sorry, guys. Regan Smith had put himself in great position, but he's not going to repeat today. Ryan Sieg pulling his car to the garage, and Justin Marks is also pulled to a stop in the grass. And that's good to see. Regan Smith, after flipping on the front straightaway here at Daytona, climbing from his car. Let's see if we can see what happens. Kyle Busch was pushing the rookie, giving him a, a shove here. Kyle Larson, excuse me. And it looks like he just gets him in a bad, bad spot right there, and he just got behind in his steering. Yeah, he got too far to the right, and coming off off the corner right there, that car unloads as you come off of that banking, and it just took just a little bit, little bit too much. And that's that window that you have to push. And, and uh, if you get outside of the center of that back bumper, well, the way that these the front and back bumpers are curved, it's going to spin that car out. Remember, we said lucky versus good. There's Chase Elliott. Still beside him. Can he make that pass? Yes, he did. This is where staying out is going to really hurt the 21. He needs to get about nine more laps to be inside his fuel window. And now he's lost that clean air. Oh, oh. big wreck. Huge contact. 48 is involved. That's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Now up and over goes the 27. So Jeff Burton sliding on top. I just want to get you. It's just hold tight right here. It doesn't take a minute here. You all good there? Yeah, man. Did all I could there. It's Jeb Burton's radio. Upside down. Tell me about what it feels like to be a driver upside down in a race car. I've never, I've never experienced, but this AMR team, they immediately get to the driver start having communications assessing what it is they need to do we heard jeb talk so he thumbs up right there hey that's a signal to everybody around what the degree of intensity needs to be that's exactly right we met with the amr team and they explain how this works so once that safety position here gets to the driver and assesses the driver's condition that lets everyone else know in what type of rush they need to be to turn this car over while jeb does not like hanging upside down they want to do this as safely 
as possible for both the driver and the safety workers. And as you see that, you can see he's communicating to Jeb the entire time. That's so important. Jeb, here's what we're doing. Here's what's happening. It, you know, this is a very uncomfortable position to be in. You're scared because is the car going to catch on fire? Is something going to happen? And you know those guys are there. One lap to go. One Sponsored back, by back. Credit One Bank. Next flag will end the race. The caution Stay or the, the checker. White AJ's got to manage his gap here. He's doing a good job of it. Yeah, he's got to get to the top. The top's going to have the biggest energy here. Mm -hmm. 21's going to come with a huge shove. They are two and three wide behind him. Crossover. Here he That's comes. Austin oh, Hill in the 21. Big crash. Up and over. Caution is out. That's Myatt Snyder. Looks like he's moving around, winning that down. That's a good sign. I believe Austin Hill's got this. And the leader, Austin Hill. But keep this in mind. We freeze the field when the caution comes out on the final lap. So NASCAR will have to review to determine who was leading when the caution came out. And we'll do everything we can, all the video we have available to make sure who was leading. Was it the 21 or 16? And it's great to see Myatt Snyder climbing from that race car. Again, wow. these race cars are so safe. You just gotta, gotta give it to NASCAR once again for the safety provisions they just enforce consistently on these race cars. It's it's nice to see him walk away. We saw it coming. That top lane was gonna have a huge run. We knew the 21 was gonna get a big run. The top lane typically on the final lap gets that big push, and I and I think he he, he is the winner. First career victory, first start in his rookie season. It's Austin Hill who gets it done at Daytona, and here's what happened behind him. That's just a bad scenario. Uh, once you get turned around backwards, if he doesn't get hit in the front end, it probably doesn't get airborne, but it's just you got the other car wedging underneath the front to, to get the lift there. But it's great to see, like Chad talked about, the, the safety innovations of these cars. You know, to, to see Mike just walk right out, that's a, a great sign. And I would be anxious to see how close it was at the time of caution, because look right here, it looks like the 16's out front. Whew, it had to be really close. Yep. The caution wasn't out at that point when they left our screen, so he was clearly ahead by the time he left the bottom of your monitors on television. But unfortunately, Anthony Alfredo getting into the back of the 31 and creating that issue. Wow. I mean, look at that Gosh. car. And look at the grass that's I mean, flying in front of him. Where is the engine? Oh, wow. <laughs> the wow. engine's gone. I mean, this kind of like a, a Michael Walter wreck that we saw at Bristol where it's just, or the Jeffrey Bodine, right? Kyle Larson front straightaway here at Daytona years ago. 